Now, I will tell you about the Living Garden House, which is not just one project. The idea of integrating a building with nature has been applied more than once. It started with coincidence. It all began in Wrocław, where a building was supposed to be built on a plot with a driveway from the east. The house was supposed to have quite an extended program. We designed it in a linear system with a driver on the east side and the garden on the west side. We regretted losing the garden in the east. That's why we bent the body of the building to gain a part of the western garden. However, the daytime part of the house divided the garden into two, western part and eastern part. We came up with the idea to elevate it so that the gardens could connect below. Then we had another idea. What if we put grass under the daytime part to make the impression of the connected gardens even stronger? We prepared some quite simple visualizations. Delighted with the idea, we showed it to the client. And in the end, our only success was winning a case in court about returning a deposit. Obviously, we didn't do the project, but we continued the idea in Warsaw on a steep plot. The existing topography of the plot gave rise to the whole solution. The ground floor was the continuation of the terrain, and we put a block with bedrooms on it. Underneath it, there was a living room with a floor that resembled grass. Thanks to the disappearing sliding glass walls, the sense of living in the garden was even stronger. In a house nearby in Krakow, not only a daytime part but also the night one is connected with the garden. Then we figured that it might be too much. Why? Because it's within human nature to be active only during the day. The living garden house was supposed to work similarly. This scheme shows its principle of operation. Unlike an ordinary house, where the division between the house and the garden is clear, here the daytime space becomes a part of the garden. This is why a living room turns into a living garden, hence the name of it. During the day, a man needs to be active and interact with the surroundings, and at night, he needs to calm down and relax in the comfort of his home. This scheme let us create another project which was built as the first living garden house in Katowice. Its ground floor separates the garden from the street and the body of the first floor is hung over the garden making space for a living garden. But our clients were afraid of the lack of privacy, and they asked us to select a part of this space with walls for a home theater. We thought of covering the walls with a stainless steel mirror, so that the permeating of greenery is maintained from the outside. When the weather is good, glass walls disappear behind mirrored walls. Our clients were skeptical about the floor resembling grass, but they were delighted with the solution since the day they moved in. Their children prefer the living garden to their own rooms and love spending time there. The house provided the owners with a feeling of living among nature, and their content made us follow this idea. We created a living garden in Izbica which is based on the same principle. It functions as well as the one in Katowice. Living in the daytime space makes us feel as if we were constantly in the garden. But this wasn't enough for us. We started wondering if this feeling of being in the garden is enough. Maybe it would be cool if we had the whole ecosystem within the house. At that time, we were invited to take part in an experimental project in Kassel, Germany. Nineteen architectural studios from all over the world participated in it. Our task was to create designs of houses on actual plots of land. They were to bring a new quality of living and working in suburban houses. Here we finally get to an experimental house in Kassel. We thought we could develop the idea of a living garden. It was to be a one-story house where all life activities should be connected with the garden in a natural way. 
The most important question was, what would happen if we replaced resemblance of grass on the floor with the living grass and introduced the whole ecosystem in the building? If it was possible to live, sit, work under a tree on the meadow along with the convenience of being inside the house, this is how the experimental house was started. A tree was an inspiration for inventing a roof and connecting it to the ground. It jump-started the whole structure of the building. We also thought it would be nice to design it as a flexible construction, flexible to needs, small houses, big houses. Maybe not only houses, but also buildings with other purposes. We had to design a 100 square meter house for two people. Our structure is based on two main ones, which are surrounded with all kinds of living space. In the main structure, apart from built-in furniture, there is also a kitchen and a bathroom with a standard floor. The living space surrounding the main structure is on living grass. It gives inhabitants a complete experience of living in nature and a fantastic microclimate. Take a look at the section plan. On the floor there is hybrid grass, which is enhanced with artificial fibers and during endurance. The watering system is introduced at roots level. Thanks to this, the floor is dry and pleasant to use. A kind of lawn mower, vacuum cleaner, is an inseparable element of the system. They take energy from the sun during the day. The mechanical ventilation fixed in the structures takes care of proper microclimate for people and the grass. Its performance makes slight movements in the grass which is necessary for its proper functioning. LED lights prevent development of germs and fungi. All the furniture is transparent so that the light can reach the grass. The roof structure consists of a steel grid filled with intelligent glass, which reacts automatically to the change of light intensity. When there is too little light, the whole house remains transparent. In the summer, it dims and protects the house from overheating. Sliding glass walls can be open and pleasant wind may come in while the roof protects the house. Whereas, when it's boiling hot, you can close the space to keep the optimal temperature inside. In the evening, you can isolate from your neighbors curious glances by closing the external blinds, whilst keeping the roof transparent to look at the sky over your head. The important thing is that the living garden and castle offers a completely new quality of life, close to nature and the changing cycles of times of day and seasons. Such proximity to nature is brand new in architecture. We believe that one way of architecture's future is no architecture. Thanks to advanced technologies, it could become less obtrusive.